Hey guys, Blue Baby 33 here. New skin. Yay. But anyway, that's not the important point. It's this thing that I just came up with. While fiddling around with some redstone, let me just actually quickly build a new one. I was just messing around with this uh, observer block, which I absolutely used to hate because I thought these are pretty bad. Or rather, not very useful. But I was totally mistaken. That was a mistake. Saying that observers were useless. They're actually extremely, extremely powerful tool. So let me just quickly patch this building together a little bit here. Right, I just like to wrap everything around nice and proper. So like this. A repeater down there. Oops. Repeater down there. And bam. So how's everybody doing? Okay, <clears throat> honestly, I haven't seen a farm design anything smaller than this. Literally, this machine fits in a 3x3x4. Three by three by yeah, 3x3, three three, and it goes down 4 blocks. And it's completely tileable too, which just makes ridiculous. Now, if you have a skelly farm, then you're good to go. But, let me show you what I mean. And the beautiful part is, no burnout clocks. There are absolutely no clocks. It's just these block updates. And, uh, let me take a drink of here. All I have to do is just have a good steady stream of supply of bones. And, um, I don't know if any smaller design actually exists. So let me go back and strip this down to the most bare minimum. Let me jam this off. So you will need you'll need one, two, three, four, five. Six. Well, actually, uh, how can I do this without removing the water? Okay. Um, I don't think you can. That's the problem. Ah, got a better idea. Place it with glass blocks so you can actually see what it looks like. So. Let me go to F1. So here's the design right there. Now the observer is facing that way towards the uh, repeater. So all you need is one observer block, four building blocks, three bits of redstone dust, a repeater, and a dispenser, and a boatload of bone meal. And as you can see, I will demonstrate right now again. Boom. There you go. Fully grown. So you can just sit here, just AFK, and just. Well, not AFK, but just. Uh, and the implication on this is if you tile this design, then you can do something like this. So if you run. If you uh, happen to be on a server that doesn't allow redstone clocks, and you want to make a fast bread machine. Now you have the, solu the ultimate solution for bread making. No need redstone clock, no need to go to the nether trying to get a comparator clock built. The observer block does it all for you. So, I mean, look at this. Just few, just few in, and just few C's in. No need to wait for your wheats to grow ever again. I mean, look at this. I'm already up to a whole stack of wheat. I mean, that is insane. I had to say this, I, I mean, I was just screwing around with a redstone to see what I can do with it. And sometimes things get discovered accidentally. And uh, my redstone testing lab is starting to grow quite a bit. Oh yeah, that's my industrial nether wart grower right there. All you have to do is hit this button, button. Boom. But that's, I will give a tutorial on this guy another time. But for now, that's it. Just a short tutorial, short, sweet, to the point. Oh, and if you are uh, questioning, can it work with potatoes? The answer is, of course. But you guys knew that, right? I mean, come on. Any vegetable, you can 
instant bro. There we go. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this short little sweet to the point tutorial. This is not that expensive. The only, I guess, expensive part is the observer and dispenser. But, hey, you get all the vegetables for the rest of your life. So, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Goodbye. Goodbye.